Hi, my name is Lindsay Buckles, and I will be discussing with you the importance of risk management throughout healthcare organizations, as well as what I've learned throughout my process of this project. Um, healthcare risk management is the process of tactics that solve risks throughout organizations that identify them, analyze them, evaluate them, and then they go ahead and find a treatment and a solution to go ahead and prevent them or fix the risks that are currently occurring. Um, so I will start with the history of risk management. It did begin in the 1700s with the simple concept of modern probability. Throughout the 1900s, it had evolved into the modern, the modern era of risk management. And then come the 1980s, there was a giant crisis, a medical malpractice crisis, which showcased an incredible need for risk management to be implemented um, throughout each and every healthcare organization um, to go ahead and hopefully that that never happens again. Um, so what is risk management? Risk management is about, like I said, the organizational tactics to solve and prevent problems within a healthcare organization. It is here to serve and protect the staff, the employees, the patients, the business itself. It involves accessing um, the likelihood of any threat or liability or injury that may occur within the organization. Um, and then it goes ahead and determines what actions need to be taken to go ahead and solve those problems. Now, there are six types of risks that I would like to go over. They are being the operational risks, financial risks, strategic risks, human capital risks, legal and regulatory risks, and finally, technological risks. All of these risks are incredibly crucial because they do um, come about in everyday duties throughout healthcare organizations and is very important to be a step ahead before any of these happen and to have the, the process and the studies and the skills to assess these situations properly. Operational risks, um, that includes claims management, communications, and information technology development, whereas we have financial risks. Now that includes malpractice claims, uh, decreased reimbursement, which may stem from um, hospital readmissions or fines for failure to comply with regulations and then of course reduced quality scores from patient satisfaction surveys. We also have human capital risk which uh, under that umbrella is going to be when you hire and maintain your employees and your staff and that includes uh, occupational hazards, workers compensation, harassment, workplace violence, and discrimination. All of that falls under the human capital risk within a healthcare organization. Next we have strategic risks. Um, this impacts the growth of the entire organization as a whole and this includes mergers, reputations, governance, and compliance or competitiveness competitiveness, um, the competitiveness, whether you have the edge or if you need to step it up a notch. Finally, we have, well, not finally, next to finally, we have legal and regulatory risks. Now, this involves many advanced rules that follow statutes, regulations on the federal and state level. This is licensure of your physicians and Medicare compliance, as well as HIPAA compliance to make sure that the physicians and the staff and all staff and all of the healthcare professionals are complying because um, this is a big risk in the legalities. And then you have technological risks, which nowadays is a big, big risk to go ahead and put some focus on because we are in 2020 and everything is in technology. We have electronic health records, the biomedical devices, telemedicine, and electronic medicine itself. Um, to implement risk medicine or risk management, there are five basic steps. The first is to establish the context, right? And then we have to identify the risks and then we analyze the risks and then we evaluate these risks and then we treat and manage these risks. Okay, this is the five steps that a risk management department has to be done. This is the process of all of risk management and it is incredibly important to follow it to the T. Now benefits of risk management throughout an organization, there are a plethora of them. Financial and business viability, all your medical malpractice claims will slowly diminish. You have an increased quality of patient care, which your satisfaction rates are going to go up. You have medical staff improvement, non-medical staff improvement. Um, and then, of course, your extended financial benefits, uh, budgeting, cost analysis, and cost effectiveness analysis, managerials. Um, the job description is going to go up. Tons of benefits within risk management. And then finally, I just want you to know that implementing ERM within a healthcare organization, it is a win-win situation. It identifies crucial risks that can be avoided and managed if they are already occurring. ERM ultimately it quantifies an organization's 
financial, operational, strategic capabilities. And it does this by determining the impact that risk may pose um, by acting proactively and to eliminate future and unprecedented um, events and to operate at full potential. So I do feel that risk management within a healthcare organization is incredibly crucial and that each and every one of us should implement this where we can. Thanks so much for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.